yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. A state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. February 4th, 1924, and I was told that uh, the, the snow was just about boot top deep, and uh, I went to uh, Hinch School. Uh, we had, uh, uh, at one time, we had enough kids at Hinch that we had two teachers. And that was, that was something to have two teachers in a, in a country school, but there was about 60 some kids. Bourbon had just started, uh, they started a four year high school in Bourbon in 1936, I believe. I started in the fall of 37, and I graduated from Bourbon High School in 1941. Yeah, well, really, I, I knew what was coming because. World War II had already started, you know. Uh, I ran, ran around this Bourbon area here. We were hit pretty hard in World War II. Uh, there was, uh, I, we had 20 some funerals when they st started bringing some of these boys back. And all of them, they, all of them they didn't bring back, but a lot, a lot of the parents had a chance to bring their, their sons home, and they did. And I think it's the 20 some funerals that the American Legion had there, uh, burying those files. And that's, I, I knew that eventually, but they were, they were going to draft me. Army had no cheap victories. The Germans fought stubbornly. Metz brought more street to street combat, more house to house fighting. Third Army got them all, shot them out from their cover. Surrender of Metz opened the path for the great drive into Germany itself. This was the moment. The Siegfried Line was to be breached. The German sacred Rhine River was to be crossed. Then, on 16 December, plans went into eclipse. The bottom fell out. The enemy had one ace left in his military pack. He played it. The Germans quite literally threw everything they had into this last solid massed effort. They started their drive through the Ardennes, drove a deep salient into the Allied lines, widened it, blew it out to a bulge. The, the, the night of the 16th of December, they called us about 8 o'clock and they said, pack your weapons up on your half track and get ready to move. We're moving out. And then, no other knew where. We're moving out. And we rode, we rode the rest of the night and we was out in the edge belt till the next morning. And so they got a bunch of infantry surrounded up here in the mountains of St. Bill and said, we're going to get them out. But our, our platoon uh, got, got caught left hold on the bag. Of course, whenever, whenever, whenever an outfit withdrew, somebody had to stay in cover for their withdrawal. You know? Then you get a new line set up, and then you get some extra artillery and so on, and 
and get 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 you, try to get your men back. But uh, there was no extra artillery, uh, no extra artillery to be had. Uh, company commander said that he had tried everywhere, but there just wasn't any available. And you you could look behind at night, and the horizon behind you was just just a constant flash from those artillery guns. Our, lieut our lieutenant, our uh, Lieutenant Whiting, our platoon uh, uh, leader, uh, he, was, he was talking to uh, the company commander, Dudley Britton. He said, Dud, what are we going to do if we can't hold them? He said, Lieutenant, our orders are to hold. And they put us in this place up there, and, and that's what we did. We helped, and we paid the price. You couldn't be, you couldn't be, couldn't be sure because you didn't know what those guys were going to do. Hmm. Yeah, I, we were liberated, we were liberated by uh, the Scotch Highland Armored Division. And we fought with them in, uh, in, Ho in Holland. The uh, same outfit we fought with uh, liberated us. And, you know, Seen those British tanks are coming, you know. Uh, then you, uh, you had a hope, but then uh, what's these guards going to do? But them guards, them guards all took off. Uh, how, how, how long, how long we believe this? That even though I had no church affiliation whatsoever, but God had His hands on me, or I'd never been there. I, I believe that. You know, of course, God knew down the road I was going to change. Yeah. You know? And, uh, but it's not, it's not just my luck that I'm here. I watched uh, the Statue of Liberty disappear when I left. And I seen it when I come in. <laughs> and it, it's a different feeling, you know. I just, you know, you're, you're free. 